In this video, I will discuss algebra of matrices. So there are three types of algebra. You see matrix addition and subtraction. We can add two matrices. We can subtract one matrix from another matrix. And second one is a scalar multiplication. We can multiply a matrix by a scalar quantity or by a number. And third one, we can multiply two matrices which is called multiplication of matrices. So let us see how can we add two matrices. Suppose you are given two matrices A and B. Now what is the condition for matrix addition when you can add two matrices? You can add two matrices only when they are of same order. When two matrices A and B are of same order, you can add them for the subtraction the condition is same if you want to subtract one matrix from another one they need to be of same order so let us see in this example suppose you have two matrices a and b and they are of same order this one is of 2 by 3 matrix and the order of this one is again 2 there are two rows and three columns 2 by 3 Therefore, you can add A and B, you can subtract B from A or A from B. And how can we add two matrices? You just need to add the corresponding components. A plus B will be what? You need to add three with the same components or corresponding components of B. You see three plus one and two plus minus one that will be 2 minus 1 0 plus 0 that will be 0 2 plus 2 that will be here 4 and 5 plus 0 minus 1 plus 3 so this is the addition of two matrix and a minus b will be just you need to replace this sign with negative sign 3 minus 1 2 minus minus 1 0 minus 0 2 minus 2, 5 minus 0, minus 1 minus 3. So this is the subtraction A minus B. And the next one is a scalar multiplication. How can we multiply a matrix by a number or by a scalar quantity? You just need to multiply each component or each entries of the matrix by that scalar quantity. You see when A is this then 2a will be equal to you just need to multiply each entries by 2 2 into 2 4 6 10 12 14 and 18 this is the scalar multiplication there is no condition for scalar multiplication and similarly you can check example 2 you can first calculate 2a then calculate 3b then add two matrices because 2a is a matrix and 3b is another matrix so now you can add 2a and 3b similarly from here you can calculate x and x will be what x will be equal to 1 by 3 5b minus 2a so you first need to calculate this one and multiply each component by 1 by 3 to get x and in this example you see this matrix and this matrix are equal so how can we find a and b you just need to write that since 2 this one and this one are equal matrix or since this equal to this then you can write a plus b equal to 6 and a b equal to 8 now by solving two equations you can easily calculate either uh, yes by the method of substitution you first need to calculate a from the second equation or b from the second equation then put it in the first equation then you will get corresponding a that will be 2 and 4 if you put 2 and 4 in this equation you will get b so your answer will be 
this one or this one example 5 find x y z and t if this matrix equation is given so you first need to multiply this matrix by 2 multiply this matrix by 3 multiply this matrix by 3 then add the two matrix in the left side and then by the equality you can write 2x plus 3 equal to 9 2z minus 3 equal to 15 2y equal to 12 2t plus 6 equal to 18 and by solving those equations you can easily calculate x y z and t in this example you can also try by yourself and if you add first equation and second equation y and y will cancel in the left side you will get 2x and in the right side you will get the addition of two matrices in that case you will get y so you can check it and you can also check these problems in your apartment exactly same you can solve all problems in three like we solve like the way we solve the problems in example and you can also solve these problems by yourself now the matrix multiplication this is a bit complicated how can we multiply two matrices the first question is what is the condition for matrix multiplication let's say you are given two matrix a and b a is of order m by n and b is of order n by p now the question is whether you can multiply a and b or not the answer is yes you can multiply because this n and this n they are same so what it means this n indicates number of columns in a and this n indicates number of rows in a so two matrices will be possible for multiplication when the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second matrix why i said first and second because a b does not equal to always b a only when a and b are inverse matrix then they will be equal otherwise matrix multiplication a b and b a are not equal so that's why i said <coughs> the number of columns in the first matrix must be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix then you can multiply a and b and the uh, result in matrix will be of order m by p the resultant matrix will be of order m by p for example a and b you can multiply because a has three columns and b has three rows so you can multiply and the result of a b will be of order two by one a upon b gun korar por apni je matrix ta paben shetar order hobe two by one now the question is how can we multiply here we learn the condition for matrix multiplication what is the condition for matrix multiplication we understand from here now the question is how can we multiply a and b let me show an example first here let's say one two three is a matrix is a row matrix and five six seven is a column matrix this matrix is of order 1 by 3 and this matrix is of order 3 by 1 so you it is possible to multiply these matrices since 3 and 3 are equal now how can we multiply you need to multiply 1 and 5 1 into 5 plus 2 into 6 2 into 6 plus 3 into 7 
3 into 7 and the resultant matrix will be of order 1 by n 1 by 1 which is equal 5 plus 12 plus 21 which is equal 17 plus 21 which is probably 38 and this one is of order 1 by 1 so this is how you can multiply a single row and a single column now how can we multiply this matrix for example you need to multiply this row and this column first to get the first row in the resultant matrix and second row this column to get the second row in the resultant matrix let me make it more clear suppose you have a 2 by 2 matrix like this a b c d and you want to multiply this matrix by e f i j so first you need to multiply first row and first column first row first column then first row second column first row second column then second row first column second row second column this is your work it means apnake first row diye dui ta column ke gun korte hobe ebong boshate hobe row te abar second row diye dui ta column ke gun korte hobe seta second row te thakbe so the result will be what r1 c1 means a e plus b i a e plus b i this is r1 c1 and r1 c2 sorry it will be c2 r1 c2 will be a f plus b j a f plus b j and r2 c1 this is r2 and this is c1 so r2 c1 will be what c e c e plus d i and r2 c1 r2 c2 it will be c2 second row first column second row second column r2 c2 will be c f d j c f plus d j and the resultant matrix will be of order 2 by 2 so this is the way you can multiply you can check this one let me uh, let us discuss this one you see one two you need to multiply this one and this two first row first column that will be here that will be here so one into two is two and two into four this 2 into 4 will be 8 so the first component will be 10 and again first row second column it will be 1 into 3 which is 3 plus 2 into 7 14 it will be 17 then second row first column it will be 3 into 2 6 plus 4 into 4 16 6 plus 16 second row second column 3 into 3 9 plus 4 into 7 4 into 7 it will be 28 3 into 3 9 plus 4 into 7 it will be 28 so it will be 37 so this is the result of a and b now you can check for this case a b first you can calculate and you can calculate b a and you see the result of a b is not equal to the result of b a so that's why in the case of matrix multiplication a b does not equal to b a and you can check this example this is also an application of matrix multiplication you need to satisfy this equation for this given matrix so first calculate a square which is a into a 
that will be this one like before minus 3a 3 into a plus 2 into i i means here i means i3 why because the given matrix is a 3 by 3 matrix if the given matrix is a 2 by 2 matrix then i will be i2 so now you can do the remaining part by yourself you see it will be a 3 by 3 0 matrix which means 0 and you can check example 10 note that this is a row matrix having three components 1 x 1 this is a row matrix and this is a 3 by 3 matrix this is a column matrix it has three rows and one column first you can either multiply first and second matrix then multiply the resultant matrix with the third one or you can first multiply second and third one then multiply the resultant matrix with the first one and then you will get a quadratic equation by solving quadratic equation you can calculate the value or values of x in this example you can calculate f a f a means a square minus 5 a plus 6 according to this equation this function is given now according to this function f a will be a square minus 5 a plus 6 so you can calculate it like before and from the exercise you can also try to solve all problems by yourself for the transpose matrix you can check example 2 you, here you first need to add a b then calculate this transpose and here first calculate a transpose then calculate b transpose then add and in this example you can first multiply a and b then calculate its transpose and then first calculate b transpose then multiply it by a transpose you can have a look here in the solution so that's all in this video in this video what we did we discuss matrix algebra and first we understand how can we add two matrix or how can we subtract one matrix from another one and second we can multiply a matrix by a scalar quantity this is called a scalar multiplication of a matrix and third we understand how can we multiply two matrices we can calculate a b or b a and so on we can calculate a square or we can calculate a cube in the case of a cube you need to multiply a three times a times a times a that's all and in my next video i will discuss how can we calculate inverse of a given matrix that i will discuss in my next video thank you very much for your watching